Today is Friday, June 15th, 2018, and this is the Service Monster Show. We're still looking for an SEO editor. Service Monster new release 6.2.6.25. And Facebook fishing out fraudulent flyers. Say that five times fast. Today, I have the great joy of introducing my fellow co-host, Javi. Yay! <laughs> and he's going to tell you a little bit more about what he does at Service Monster. Also, just a quick fact, we unintentionally twinned it out today, just for your enjoyment. So there You're you go. You're welcome. Basically, here at Service Monster, I'm the sales rep, and I give people walkthroughs. This week in social media. So this week, I was reading up on cleanlink.com and I was looking at Onvation Technology by Kimberly Clark Professional. I thought it was kind of interesting because it's a new type of technology where from any mobile device you can get updates on the statuses of bathroom cleanliness or stock on things like paper towels or soap or whatever. It'll even let you know if some of the machines have low battery and how they achieve this is by sensors built into the dispensers themselves. And those signals get sent through a secure cloud to your mobile device. So if you service a big building with a lot of bathrooms, it's kind of a cool idea. And I know Nina mentioned another app that's sort of similar. So it could be a technology that could become more the norm in the future. We'll just have to wait to see. So this week, Facebook took an initiative to weed out bad advertisements. So as people scroll through their timeline and they see a sponsored ad, when they click through that uh, and they go ahead and purchase something, then next uh, in their notifications, there'll be an option for them to review that ad. And they'll review it on the scale of smiley faces. And if you get a bunch of bad reviews, Facebook will give you the opportunity to fix your ad if you're getting a bunch of negative reviews on that ad. So why this is important to you as a service provider is if you're putting out ads on Facebook and people are responding negatively to those, then you'll get a chance to ramp those up in a positive way so that people react to them much better. So again, I was reading another article on eClean where they were talking about this guy, Gerard, who's a pressure washer. And within 10 minutes, his Facebook page got blown up with one star reviews and no comments. Kind of a crazy story. What he came to find out is that these one star reviews were actually coming from other countries. So he knew that they were spam. At first he was a little worried. He was like, oh no, how have I messed up? But in reality, he was getting spammed. Now, I know it's not normal for businesses, or at least hopefully it's not normal for businesses to be getting over 200 one-star reviews in a matter of 10 minutes, but I thought it was interesting information and somehow you may wanna know how to protect your Facebook page from receiving spam reviews. He offered four different ways of protecting yourself from getting those spam reviews. And one of them was the country restrictions under Facebook settings. And you can actually block out other countries. You can keep it within the United States, which, you know, unless you're traveling internationally to do service jobs, then that makes a lot of sense, right? So Gerard mentioned some other things, but those were the most applicable, I thought, for the everyday situation. So if you want to prevent spam coming to your Facebook page, go ahead and check out country restrictions. And they also mentioned something else about poor reviews, that studies are actually showing that companies that get only five-star reviews actually get questions on their legitimacy from people who are looking at the reviews online which I thought was interesting because actually, as a consumer myself, being on Amazon or something, if I see a seller who only has five-star reviews, I've thought in the back of my head, hmm, I wonder, wonder if this guy is actually legit. Something you might wanna think about that maybe a couple lower reviews, I'm not saying a lot, 
but a couple lower reviews could actually bump up the legitimacy of your business. Just something to think about. Is your business on Instagram? If it is, there's a recent poll that said that there's over 300 million users on Instagram watching people's stories. So basically what that means to you, if you're out in the field posting a story about your day, uh, washing somebody's house, uh, before and after pictures of somebody's carpet, you can now add tags on that story that'll send people over to your website. So if they wanna request a service from you, it'll lead them straight there. This week, Inside Smug. So Alan, I just wanna say thank you so much for making your comment on Smug this week about the Drip Campaign video. I so value feedback, I value getting those things that even need to be fixed because in the process of making so many videos, it's easy to just overlook things that are actually really important. So first of all, thank you so much for that. Secondly, you'll be happy to know that I went in and actually fixed it just today. So you can go online to YouTube or you can go to our help site and you'll see the updated video there. So we had another comment on a video this week from Mary Lynn. And I just wanted to let you know, Mary Lynn, that besides getting some feedback on Smug itself, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be working on a video to show the power of searching in Service Monster 6. There were some things that actually even I didn't know about, so I thought it would be helpful to put it in video format so that our users can access that information easily. So keep an eye out for that, Mary Lynn. And remember, the symposium, August 13th and 14th. Only 23 seats left. Go and get yours. Link down below somewhere. This week inside Service Monster. So in the process of all the changes and hiring happening here at Service Monster, we hired a new production team member for FMS. Her name is Jill. So welcome Jill to the team. And we're still looking for an SEO slash SEO editor. And just going along with the hiring and new employees. We actually have someone who is leaving us. They are moving to Seattle. Kyle, we will miss you. Thank you so much for all your contributions to Service Monster. In light of that, Alex told me that they are looking for a new mobile developer. So keep an eye out for that. Service Monster product updates. I mentioned in the intro 6.2.6.25 new release that will be coming out early next week. Some exciting things come with it. We worked a lot on opportunities and specifically the Kanban board. It's been a lot of people asking for custom stages for the Kanban board. And so we created the ability to do that. So now you can add and edit new stages and what we call groups to the Kanban board. So keep an eye out for that. Pretty exciting. And also, we've been in discussion about our release schedule, so look for new releases faster. From everyone here at Service Monster, thank you so much for your attention. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out the demo. And give us a call.